What's up y'all, we are back in the shop and today we're gonna to be making a sign out of some car tags. Now there's two letters that we don't have and that is the letter T. We're gonna take these ones, flip them upside down and use them for T's. Now some of the ones on these tags you can't do like this one. It just goes straight down at the bottom. And the other one is the letter E, which is real hard to find. But a lot of people takes these threes and flips them upside down, makes the letter E. So with that being said, let's jump into it. All right, y'all, we got our boards cut and we're gonna use half lap joints for the corners. So we're just gonna transfer our marks. All right, so that's gonna be the top ones. Now we're gonna need to make the ones on these then we'll be ready to cut them up. Alright y'all, we finished making our frame and it goes together just like that. And this is something easy you can make on the table saw even if you don't have a table saw sled. And now you're going to have to make multiple passes if you don't have a dado stack. But anyhow, we're going to use these 5 8 inch staples from the back side to hold it together until the glue dries. And then we can put our groove around the outside to hold our tag in. All right, y'all, we finished staining the frame, and we're just gonna take some measurements for the back of it. Now, this is why I like keeping these scrap pieces of Luan. They're not good for much, but for these picture frames, they come in handy. So we're gonna take this over to the table saw and cut it out. All right, y'all, we're gonna use this Instant Mix Epoxy. You can get it from the big box store, and it sets up in one minute. Full curing time is about 24 hours, and it works on almost any kind of material. All right, I don't know if y'all can tell, but the nozzle started leaking, and at this point, there was no stopping. I just had to go on and try to get them put on there and try to keep the epoxy from getting on the frame. Thank you. 
Let's get it.